welcome to my channel in this episode we will learn how to solve the boundary value problem using shooting method in this method first we convert the od initial ordinary differential equation uh, that is a boundary value type to an equivalent initial value problem let us consider a second order od of this form d2u dx2 that is the sum function of x y x is independent variable y is dependent variable and dy dx and where this is these are the boundary conditions y at x equals to a is alpha and y at x equals to b which is beta which is given in the problem which is given first i outline the method i have to guess this derivative which is not given in the problem first we uh, choose or guess the derivative dy dx at x equals to a this is the domain at x equals to a and this is your other boundary is at x equals to b at x equals to a first we assume that the derivative of the y is something say alpha 1 and along with this initial condition we integrate this differential equation we integrate this differential equation uh, to um, and integ integrate this differential equation that means first choosing to one thing that is the derivative and another thing is given another thing is given which is y at a, at x equals to s alpha that means two initial conditions that means it is initial value problem now we shoot that means we integrate the differential equation and reach the other boundary at x equals to base say uh, at this point say it reach this point and that means at this at the other boundary you compute at x equals to b what is the value of that if we integrate with that guess value let that value turns out to be at y equals to b as y sub b y sub sub x beta rather sorry and if y sub x beta say not equals to the beta which is the original boundary value now we have to adjust the derivative we have to adjust the derivative that means our case until and unless y beta y suffix beta minus beta is zero that means it matches the other boundary condition to compute the best guess we have to make y beta minus beta equals to zero our equation and we have to we have to adjust this derivative until and unless um, you will reach that thing that is you 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 may you may employ any kind of root finding algorithm like um, newton's me newton's method or any method any method that you have um, uh, if I, you have a, you have um, understanding that you can apply here um, in this way you can solve let us now um, just use a brief over a brief outline now we uh, code some initial boundary value problem using python and uh, and make our understanding much more clearer let us consider the boundary value problem uh, d2y dx2 that is equal to 4 into y minus x which is defined over 0 to 1 where y0 is 0 and y1 equals 2 the exact solution is given here we will match our numerical result with the exact one first let us assume y equals to say y0 and our aim is to convert this second order equation to, into a coupled to first order equation and it has been discussed in the previous episode please go through the playlist and you will get that how to convert any uh, ODE into a couple successive or coupled first order equations that means dy0 dx is y1 say and that means the first derivative is y1 then dy1 dt dx is equals to 4 into y is defined as y0 and minus x that means two first first order equation <clears throat> now first we define uh, some function which will return these two thing y1 and 4y0 minus x so it needs uh, y initial condition say y i and i initial condition and some x vector over which you are just integrating and the initial condition will be unpacked here y0 and y1 
and which is say y initial and dy0 dx which is y1 and dy1 dx is 4 star y0 minus x and return dy0 dx dy1 dx and one of the boundary condition is y0 is equals to 0, 0.0 this is your bv one of the bv boundary value which is initial condition rather boundary value but initial point at x equals to 0 y0 and set up a x vector is something like that np dot lean space which is uh, from 0 to 1 say 500 points now we define another function which will shoot that thing that means integrate the differential equation say define y underscore shoot it needs at least one value which is y1 yn means it is our assumption y1 means the derivative of y derivative of y with respect to x which is which you have to assume it's iteratively say y initial it needs y0 OD solver OD int f y should equals y initial and od is solver it will return that thing now uh, we want to return the function say return od e solver and it will first column colon comma zero and the last value is main requirement last value means at x, x equals to 1 at that means y equals to must be 2 and just uh, another thing we define here which is called y underscore target y underscore target which is here 2 just I subtract out the y underscore target because uh, this will uh, up to this point it will return the od solver first column that is y and minus 1 means the last value of this column that means at the other boundary and subtract out the target value that means it will return 0 if we fulfill the target on the basis of choosing y1 now how to choose y1 i use some uh, root finding algorithm which is available in scipy say f solve f solve will return the roots of any function um, starting from uh, you have to give some starting point say if solve uh, what is uh, my function that is y shoot t and some starting point say 0.5 and it will uh, successively shoot with different values starting from 0.5 and give some y1 and y0 is 0 is known to us and uh, solve it and check whether this the return return of this function is zero or not if it is zero then that value will be unpacked to y1 and just to print print y1 that means that value is one point this an array and i just return the particular value i'm sorry if, uh, th that means a particular thing the first that means 1.514 something like that and if we 
um, choose the derivative is 1.5 on this thing, then OD solver will return the value 2 and that means 2 minus 2 is 0, that means th that problem is solved. And, and if we um, um, just uh, put that initial value, now I um, choose the initial value y underscore i and i, which is the one value is the y0 which is fixed forever, which is y0 and another value also fixed forever, but uh, that is uh, another boundary condition, but y1 is um, calculating from this thing, that is y1. So I got the initial condition. And, and if we choose the initial condition, we can definitely reach the point value 2. And now um, just plot, plt plot, plt dot plot, um, x versus od solver, od solver, or rather I'm just writing, uh, uh, writing in a, on the fly or rather you write it here. OD solver another times. I am just co copying it here. OD solver it will um, solve using that initial value which is given y1 and uh, OD solve it and now we uh, now we just um, plot this OD solver OD solver and first column colon comma zero and uh, using some dot say and mark every all the points need so mark so mark every say fifteen fifteen And you make a grid here rather. And this value is almost reaching 2 and you just make say mark 1. So you can understand that this value at y equals to 1 this reaches this value. And if you uh, if you ignore this y1 say and for checking purpose ignore say y1 equals to 1.6 then you can check it and which is not 2 say 1.4 which is not 2 but if we suppress and we solve using epsilon then it exactly hits the point it exactly should at y equals to x equals to 1 y equals to 2 and we have at our disposal the analytical um, analytical expression which is e squared divided by e to the power 4 minus 1 e to the power x minus e to the power minus 2x plus x. I am just uh, expressing this thing in x versus something like that np dot exp2 np dot exp2 divided by whole thing divided by whole thing divided by e to the power 4 minus 1 that means np dot exp 4 minus 1 this thing multiplied by np dot exp minus plus plus x sorry I have some bracketing problem here No need to use that bracket here. NP dot this thing, and here should be another bracket. Okay. 
and uh, you can see a set is 10. One is the exact thing. This is your exact thing. Level exact and plt dot legend this is your exact thing and you can make some color choice say black and one more thing here blue sorry rather and this is your Color choice here, say, say black, and this thing. This is here to be. And this is your black dots and this is my and and you put some X level and and this is your numerical result cell level. Numerical shoot this is your numerical shoot and the black line is and the blue line is rather and you use this black black this should be black one and one is black and another one is blue uh, and you can make this red rather that will help will help to understand this and the, the dots are the numerical value and black one is the exact value that means um, this illustrates our uh, shooting method and you can use this method for solving quantum mechanical problems and any kind of boundary value problems. So we'll later episode we will study the quantum mechanics using shooting method.